going to check everybody out. Hopefully nothing is wrong and we can be back to the house by 8 o'clock because I feel like there's probably going to be cinnamon rolls and bacon that are going to need to be inspected before anybody else shows up for brunch today. Got to take one for the team. Oh. So, this is our Site 2 barn, which is a twin to the barn that Sawyer's built. And these boys and girls are big. They are really big. So I think next week we're going to start selling out of here. We're just going to walk through and make sure that nobody's gotten beaten up overnight. Pigs like to play their favorites. Now, look at this boy. Now that pig right there, that's what you want to see. You wish that they all looked like that. There's a lot of pigs in here that are going to probably go first cuts. These are the oldest here by, by a week or so, but there are a lot of big pigs. If you hear people that we raise these pigs in overcrowded conditions, this is as big as these pigs are going to get. And as you can see, I would definitely not say these pigs are crowded. Uh, like I've said before, pigs are super social animals and they like, they like being together. They like to see whether they could get a little chunk because everybody wants a little piece of torque pie. But if you had them outside or you had them in a, a big area, they would still all congregate together because they're real social and they like being together. Anyway, good bunch of pigs. These have been a good bunch of pigs and the time is about right for them to become a meal for somebody's family, which that's what we do it all for. And I'm gonna get out of here before I become a meal for them. Good morning, everybody. Today is gonna be another fill day for this new hog barn. We're gonna be probably getting a lot more pigs than we did on our first day because we're not gonna be splitting with another barn. So we're probably expecting around 800 to 1,000 pigs this morning. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the north side of this room and we'll fill this whole east side of it up. And then come Monday, we'll, we'll move to the west side of this room. And in about probably four days, this room will be full and we'll move into the north room and get that baby full. I went ahead and fed these guys this morning and as you guys can see, they absolutely love those red snapping feeders. They love the mat too, but they go crazy for these red snapping feeders. So far, so good with these this group of pigs. Um, these guys are getting after it. I don't see any pigs that don't really feel like eating yet. I haven't seen any fallback pigs yet. Super happy with how everything looks. Hopefully the rest of this fill, these pigs all end up looking like this because if this is what they look like, we're gonna get started off right. The truck should be here in about an hour or two. So I'm gonna go grab a quick bite to eat and then dad and I will be up here to unload it. Here they are. Let's get to it. pigs aren't going worth a crap. They're super laid back, which is nice when you get them in the pen, but loading them off the truck, it's never fun having lazy pigs. They must have brought us a lot more pigs than we thought they were going to. I thought they were just going to bring enough pigs to fill this side and that was going to be it. But we had to switch gates and set them on this southwest side of the room because there's too many pigs. Hey, come on, bacon bits. Let's go. this side. Sawyer's got all the girls over there. We got a little over 400 on Tuesday and we got about 1270 is what the ticket says. We'll have to count them and make sure. We're gonna put like 2,075 pigs in each one of these rooms. So we'll probably put like 60 pigs to a pen. So 
if I stand here and talk long enough, I can get out of doing all the work, but that probably wouldn't be right. So I'm gonna set this down and go start counting these picks out on this side while he finishes that side. Come on. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83. 138 in here, and Sawyer's got like 142 over there. So that pen, I think, only has uh, 32 pigs in it. So we're going to take a few extras out of this one and a few extras out of that one, and we should be just about right. And then we'll get started feeding everybody, get everybody some creep and some barracuda, and get the red feeders filled up, and then probably just let everybody rest because they're going to want to drink and take a nap. So that's the plan from now. You need 24. Oh, 24? Everybody spread out nice and even. Mats are where they need to go on this side. I just finished up doing that. Now Dad and I are going to start mat feeding and using the barracuda, the pellets, putting feet in the red snapping feeders, putting feet on the mat, putting feet on the feeder pad, get them, giving the pigs every chance they need to become a great piece of bacon. Excuse me. Just got done feeding everybody on both sides and hanging up the rest of the brooder heaters, getting them ignited, all that good stuff. They got the heat, they got the extra feed, they got the mats in the right place. We're all good to go there. Next fill is either Monday or Tuesday next week, and then depending on which day, it's going to be Thursday and Friday of next week. So they'll be weaning twice a week. We should get this whole room filled by the next fill, and we'll probably have to end up going into the next room. This weekend, I'm planning on going in there and finishing power washing that room because I only power wash this room just to get everything nice and clean. It took me about two and a half, three hours last time I power washed this room. Everything is coming along real nice. Like I said, these pigs look phenomenal, and they usually do right off the truck. Uh, but you just got to keep staying on top of everything. Here by the end of the week, we're going to pull that first group of pigs that we got, pull the smalls out of there and fall back pigs put them in these two rump pens. We're gonna have two fallback pens per room. So we'll have four total in the whole building and we'll get started going down that road. That being said guys, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.